The cylinder block is cast in CGI to get a stronger basic structure. The strength of the material means that we can shape the block more precisely and reduce weight. To ensure a long service life and cope with the high power with the new V8, we have made a stronger crankshaft. There are bigger dimensions on both main bearings and conrod bearings. The basic design is all new, but the architecture remains all the same. And it shares a lot of parts with the Scania inline engines. The timing gears is all shared with the inline engines. But there is one thing that we haven't seen in a Scania engine before. It is a scissor gear for the air compressor drive. The gear wheel is split, and this innovation keeps the noise level down. In order to have a long and trouble-free service life, we have added a saver ring to the cylinder liner. This saver ring will scrape off the carbon deposits from the top land of the piston. An engine with this saver ring will have a longer service life and lower oil consumption. We have made some changes inside the cylinder head. To make sure we have enough cooling on sensitive spots, we are introducing jet cooling that cools the areas around exhaust channels with high precision. Hanna, if you please. The new engine has the Scania XPI common rail fuel injection. There is one rail on each bank and it's a similar system as we have on our 9 and 13 liter engines. There is one difference and that is a three cylinder pump instead of two. So we have made the Scania new V8 platform even stronger while giving it a new performance level. This will make sure that we carry on a great tradition.